All right, so here we have it all ready and set up to go. And we've also got our perspective that we can click on and off. And now we're basically ready to start sculpting and, and creating our object. But we do need to save the file. And the easiest way to save in ZBrush and probably the way I would suggest for most Maya users is just to use the scene file save. So that's just gonna save the whole project directory, everything in it as you would a .ma or a .mb and just go save as. And now we just wanna save that into our simple dragon path under the ZBrush. And you could have some extra directories here, but that should be enough for us. So we'll just say simple dragon and we'll just call it 01 and I'll just give it a little comment, start. Okay, and there we go. So we're ready to start sculpting. So let's get in and start sculpting this dragon. And in fact, first, we're not gonna start sculpting. We're actually just gonna do some blocking out of this model in, in much the same way as we would in Maya. And I'm just recreate that window there. And we've also got the one that's sort of hidden in here which we'll get into pretty quickly now, actually. So the first thing we're gonna come over here is to the subtool. And the subtool area, this is a little bit like Maya's outline, and this is where all our objects are stored. And ZBrush just has a bit of a weird name for this, which really puts people off and, and makes the program quite confusing. But this is a little bit like our outline, or we can think about it like that. Technically, there's multiple tools that can be in ZBrush, so it's a little bit more complicated than this. But for a basic start, it's a good way of thinking about this. It's just our object list in our scene. So each one of these subtools is just an object, and each subtool is a different object, and you can fill them up and have quite a lot of objects in here. So an example of this might be, let's put this guy and put him straight into the facial sort of position like it's a head. So we're just going to press W on the keyboard and that brings up the gizmo now, which is very similar to Maya's gizmo, except in the middle, that's not moved, that is scale. So we can scale that. And this little triangle guy on the outside is the two way move or the, the move plane out to camera. Otherwise it's very intuitive, this little gizmo. And there's a whole bunch of things up here that you need to know, especially that guy and that guy and the alt key. But we'll get into that in a bit. So now that we're here, you can scale that a little bit, but I actually want to keep it round because I, I want to keep that back of the face and we'll pull it out with the move brush here. That's just a nice, easy way of moving that into place. And now what we want to do is we want to make another sphere here. Now, the easy way of doing that is just to hold down control and you can just drag out another one. Now, what you've done there, if we sort of spin around here, sort of updates after a while, is this is still the same object. We haven't actually created another object. So we're still in the same object. And what it's done is this is all gone sort of a darker gray and that's called masking. And it's a little bit identical to the freeze and mud box or in the new Maya where it goes blue. So instead of it being blue in ZBrush, it's simply black. So here that's just been masked off, which means we can't move it around. And now we can just place this guy as per the body would sort of be something like that. We'll just go with something like that. So this is a starting point for that. Now, if you wanna make two objects out of one, we actually probably would wanna keep it, but just for the example here, if you wanna make these into two objects, a lot of that's just down here in my interface here. So you just go extract is not it, it's a different terminology. Extract is much more like extrude, and we've got split to parts is much more like, or split unmasked points. The split is much more like Myers extract. So if you just go, split unmasked points, that's gonna take everything that's not masked and put it into another subtool or another object. We'll just go split unmasked paths and you can see that now we've got two. So now to move between them, you can click on them here and you can also alt click. So I'll get rid of the background just for now. You can alt click on each object too. And to get out of this manipulator tool, you just hit Q. So it's a lot like my Q just being the sculpt mode. So alt click on each object and you can switch between them that way too. It's pretty easy.